Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra J. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here because you're loyal and you like me and you've been watching my videos, then welcome back. So I know that my, that's a train, my, my background is a little bit different right now. Um, we're going to get into that into a different video. Um, but for today, we're just going to be talking about my skin. Um, I get a lot of compliments on my skin. And so I just want to come on here and talk to you guys about how I cleared it, what my skin used to look like, my journey, and what I currently use on my skin right now to clear it. This is a train. And so if y'all can hear that, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you guys are interested in knowing how I clear my skin and how I also maintain my skin, then keep on watching. So some of you guys may be familiar and some of you guys may not be familiar with isotretinoin, which is also called Accutane. Um, it is a oral medication, a powerful oral medication used to treat severe acne. So that is what I use to really, really clear up my skin. The medication is taken every day for like a five to six month duration. It kind of depends on the plan that your dermatologist chooses to put you on. Um, but you take it for that amount of time and you come out with really clear skin most people come out with very very clear skin but because it is a powerful oral medication you do have to be prescribed to get it so your dermatologist has to prescribe it for you it's not something that you can like get in the store or anything like that um like i said it is typically used to treat severe acne i didn't have severe acne my acne was more moderate but consistent Throughout the video, I'm going to be placing pictures here, here, just so you guys can reference what I'm talking about when it comes to my skin. Um, but like I said, my acne was more moderate but very consistent. Um, my acne has kind of always been pretty mild. Um, at one point in college, my skin just went crazy and I started breaking out worse than I ever have in my entire life. Um, I just had, I just remember at one point, I had acne marks all or dark spots all over my face it was really bad I didn't know what to do my skin just kept getting worse so the acne was just not getting better I was getting really really fed up with my how my skin was looking and all I wanted was clear skin it just started really messing with like how I was feeling just like my confidence and everything so I finally decided to get on Accutane and I'm not unfamiliar with Accutane my entire family has gone through the treatment um, I just decided to at this point in time and yeah my dermatologist was really really cool with it most times and I'm just gonna preface this most times because it is like a strong medication a lot of dermatologists will want you to go through other treatments um, before you try Accutane like they kind of try to use it as, as a last step uh, but my dermatologist I came in knowing exactly what I wanted so she was cool with it and we got started so how does Accutane work how does an oral medication give you clear skin? So Accutane works by shrinking the oil glands in your skin, which prevents clogged pores, decreasing uh, skin bacteria and anti-inflammatory effects. So like I said, it does shrink the oil glands in your skin, which also makes your skin extremely dry. That's actually the number one symptom that you experience with Accutane is very dry skin. Other symptoms include um, joint pain, um, like I said, dry skin, but it doesn't really stop a dry skin. You can get dry eyes, dry, some people have gotten dry throats, um, dry lips. Um, you can also get headaches, nosebleeds because of the dry nose, I'm assuming, um, and also itching. Now this is just like a list of symptoms you can experience. Not everyone experiences all these symptoms. Like, <laughs> like I can imagine y'all are just like, all this for clear skin? And I'm not gonna lie to you, even if I did get all these symptoms, I probably still would have done it because I was just so fed up with my skin. But anyways, um, so Accutane also can give you really, really bad birth defects. So because of this, you do have to meet with your dermatologist every single month. Um, it is mandatory to be on the treatment. Um, every month they're going to take your uh, take a sample of your blood just to make sure everything is okay. Um, if you have a uterus, um, they are going to uh, ask ask you to pretty much pee in a cup every single time you go see your dermatologist because they have to make sure that you're not pregnant. Um, you also do have to pledge to abstinence or using contraceptives during sex um, if you plan on taking Accutane. It gets pretty serious and it I can see how it can be just a little bit annoying. Like this would this I mean it is a lot, so I understand why it's like kind of like a last step kind of thing. 
um but that's just kind of what you have to do on it you know and like i said it was worth it to me so that's pretty much what Accutane does. Um, now I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience on it. So my doctor prescribed me 60 milligrams. The dosage depends on a couple of things. The only one I can remember is your weight. Again, this is something that your doctor will kind of curate for you. Um, but I was taking 60 milligrams, a 40 milligram pill, and then a 20 milligram pill um, every single day. So when I first started taking Accutane, my doctor warned me that my skin is likely to purge. And what that pretty much means is you're probably going to break out before your skin gets better. And essentially, um, the Accutane can typically kind of try, try to push out the acne out of your skin that's like embedded in your skin. Um, but it actually didn't happen to me. Um, my skin only got better as time went on. I didn't really experience any additional breakouts, so that was pretty cool. I was initially going to give monthly updates on Accutane. Like, I gave, I think, my first month update, um, but my skin literally just, like, kept getting better and there were no updates to give, so I just kind of stopped. The only symptom I got from the list I just told you guys was dry skin. And even that wasn't bad for me. Um, I know that I'm pretty good about keeping my skin moisturized, um, but it just, I didn't really get like crack, dry cracked lips. My skin wasn't like, like crazy, crazy dry. Um, I actually had no problems when it came to that. I mean, I did have to keep my skin more moisturized, but like I said, I'm pretty good at that. Um, I'm not sure if the fact that I have soft water in my house played a part in that. Um, but yeah, the dryness wasn't bad for me. I actually kind of enjoyed it in a way because I have naturally oily skin. I, I have naturally oily skin, so being able to kind of take a break from that was really nice for me. Oh, one thing I did tell you guys: Accutane not only helps um, blemishes on your face, but on your entire body. So if you experience uh, like chest acne or back ac or back, back acne if you experience chest acne or back acne um, Accutane will help clear that as well that is probably my favorite part of taking Accutane was not having any more acne on like my chest or my back I don't have any pictures to show you guys but I used to break out not bad but like bad enough to where I had a lot of like dark spots on my shoulders on my back on my chest a little bit um, and I never wanted to wear like spaghetti straps or anything showing my back because of it. But now I feel really, really confident wearing that. So that is probably my favorite part of Accutane is not having a or not having acne anywhere, pretty much. So, so like I said, my entire family took Accutane, and when my dad took it first in like the 90s, I was a baby. He took it, and his face got really dark, and his lips got really, really pink. And I just so happened to get those same symptoms. So that's the only other symptoms I got other than dryness was my face got darker and my lips got super bright and pink. Like they were so bright and pink. I'm going to insert pictures. Like I said, um, I later found out that my face was getting really dark because Accutane makes your face very sensitive to the sun. So if you are taking Accutane and you are melanated, please use um, sunscreen daily. Um, because your skin is going to be a lot more sensitive to the sun um, and honestly I wasn't even too mad about like the bright lips I kind of liked it I'm not gonna lie to you I thought it was cute it was super bright but <laughs> it was super bright but I actually thought it was cute so if you guys notice that my skin looks lighter in some of these photos it's because my dermatologist at the time had me using hydroquinone on my face um, so that really did help the um, darkness I did eventually stop using it but we'll get into that once I show you guys my skincare routine so um, what is my skin like now and uh, do I still break out um, those are some questions I figure you guys want to know um, I do still break out but it is so much more manageable than it used to be um, my I still get like an occasional breakout, especially around like my cycle or something like that. But again, the blemishes are just different this time. Like they're they're bumps, but they're not bumps that like I can pop. Um, I've had very few uh, breakouts where I could actually like pop it because um, it, it just doesn't get to that point anymore. And as you can see right here, like I do have like small blemishes on my face. Like my skin is not perfect. Um, but it's so much more manageable and I actually, I don't really mind it like this. Um, 
And that brings us to my next point, you know, just because I did Accutane doesn't mean that I get to stop taking care of my skin. I take care of my skin like I never took Accutane. Um, I'm still very diligent with my skincare routine. Okay, so now for my skincare routine, and this is just what I use morning and night um, to keep my skin clear and also to, um, and also for what I'm currently trying to work on in my skin, which is hyperpigmentation, like I just told you guys. Um, so for starters, um, I use a very simple face wash. I use my Cetaphil um, Daily Facial Cleanser. This one is for oily skin. Um, I love this cleanser a lot. Um, what you guys are going to find in my skincare routine is that I don't use super expensive products and I don't use a bunch of products. Um, when I was at the peak of, when I was breaking out as bad as I was in college, um, I went to see an esthetician. She told me that my skin was extremely dry and that I needed to start using um, uh, cleansers that were going to kind of moisturize my skin. Um, Another thing that I've realized throughout my skincare journey is that I cannot use what everyone on YouTube uses. I remember like binge watching on YouTube just all of these different people saying use African black soap and I think that's what I was using at the time or use salicylic acid face washes and everything and all of those things may have been good for like some people but they were not good for my skin. Um, I prefer a moisturizing face wash. I hate my skin being too dry um, and so this is what I use. I'm faithful with this. It's just really really good and it's not that expensive. Um, so yeah this is my face wash. So after I wash my face in the morning I go in with a daily toner. This is from um, Epony Skincare. This is actually a black line. I really like this toner. Um, I'm kind of a little bit new to toners, um, but I have noticed that my skin has been looking a lot more hydrated lately. So um, this is what I use next. And like I said, you guys, I am trying to um, clear my hyperpigmentation and brighten my skin. So a lot of my products are targeted towards that. Um, I just started using a vitamin C serum. This is the CeraVe um, Skin Renewing by Vitamin C Serum. This is 10% um, um, vitamin C. And um, I really like this so far. It definitely makes my skin look more glowy um i love the consistency of it. it is very like a like a serum-y type of texture if you guys have um used ole henriksen's vitamin c it has that same consistency so it's really really nice to put on in the morning i put all of my skincare in the fridge so like whenever i you know put it on my face it's just really cold and i don't know it just makes my skin feel really good so this is what i use next um it is an antioxidant which is why i use it i realized that i needed to protect my skin more from the sun and so this helps with that and also brightening my skin and lastly for my skin of course the most important part of your skincare routine in my opinion is sunscreen so i use um innisfree daily sunscreen this i just started using like a couple weeks ago but i really really like it um it doesn't make my skin too oily or anything and it's only 15 dollars. i got it from sephora um so as you notice, I don't use moisturizer in the morning just because if I use moisturizer and I use sunscreen because I do use a generous amount of sunscreen, my skin would just be really oily. So this is what I use right now or in the morning. At night, again, I wash my face with my Cetaphil face wash. Um, I don't do this every single time, um, but I do have a pumpkin AHA mask from Epony, the black owned business I was just telling you guys about. Um, like I said, this is their pumpkin a a h. Why was that so hard to say? Pumpkin a h a mask. Um, this helps um, with hyperpigmentation and just brightening the skin. I love this mask so much. Again, I don't use this every single day. Sometimes I don't use it every single week. I try to use it at least once or twice a week, but sometimes like it's you know the best of me and I'm not able to use it so I actually just used this today before filming this video this is something I use to help me with my hyperpigmentation as well and then I go in with my faded um, topical brightening cream this is a brightening and clearing serum I use this every night I used to use hydroquinoin on my face um, which I still have um, this is the Reve skin um, fortified lightener it's 4% uh, hydroquinone and um, I, this is actually expensive. This is probably the most expensive skincare product that I own. This was like 
80 or 90 dollars so the reason why i stopped using it was because i wanted to figure out how to brighten my skin without it um when you're using hydroquinone they always suggest that you use it with a q-tip or you apply it with a q-tip to very specific areas and because mine was kind of all over my face because i'm experiencing um sun damage um and i guess i should specify what i mean by sun damage i mean that there's just like it's just uneven uh, and uneven skin tone and obviously i don't want to risk just like lightening my skin i'd rather use a lightener that's going to lighten my skin to my natural complexion which is what the faded does so yeah that is my skincare routine um i'm really excited to show you guys just kind of bring you on the journey of me trying to brighten my skin and get rid of some of the um hyper pigmentation i have around my face or just around my mouth um i know that it can be really really frustrating so i definitely want to share this journey with you guys and even help you guys find something um to brighten your skin um, which is another reason why I opted out of the hydroquinone because I wanted to find just a better solution that everyone could use. So yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed my video. I hope that it was informative if you're interested in getting Accutane or even if you're just interested in seeing how I cleared my skin or even just interested in wanting to see um, how I maintain my skin. I hope that this video is what you needed it to be. If it was, if you enjoyed it, if you wanna see more of my skincare videos, then please like, comment, and subscribe. If there are any additional questions that you have about my Accutane journey or my skin or anything like that that I did not cover in this video, please comment below. I will answer all of your questions or if you catch me on Instagram, just DM me and I'll answer your question there as well. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever you're doing, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.